nah, it's 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 nice. It's, it's cool. I like it. It ain't slow, but it's just not crazy fast. Let's do that one more time. Oh, Lord. You must have heard me talking. I apologize. <laughs> I, listen, I'm sorry. You hear me? I am sorry. <laughs> you ain't have to scare me like that. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Hemi Life 44, back with another dope car review for y'all. I mean, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and browse. We're going up our 2020 three man um this car review um i'm gonna i'm gonna do it a little different first off let me apologize about not having my mics um i know my last video i said i had my mics fixed but i actually had to send them back for warranty something was wrong with them so i gotta wait on more to come in so until then that's why i made sure all my talking part of this video will be pretty much in the car because i didn't want to get no wind noise so i'm doing something a little different so i hope y'all like how i pretty much construct the review this time but as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title man today we are in a 2021 porsche tycon 4s this is not the turbo um the turbo is you know it's a little different a little faster or whatever but this is just the 4s which is still a dope vehicle um if y'all if y'all take a look at it man it, it looks amazing looks real amazing uh when i first seen it i first laid, I laid eyes on it man i I'm like, that car is crazy. I love that car. 20 inch wheels, um, don't get hit. I know it's an electric car, you can't hear it. It's all right, brother. That guy almost got hit. 20 inch wheels on the car. Um, The rims, me me personally, I feel like the rims could have been better. I feel like if it, if it had had a gap in between the little part that's like filled in, it would have looked better. I just don't like the fill in parts of the rim. You know what I mean? But. Other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a dope wheel because I actually liked the wheels until I got closer and realized that it was filled in. So it actually don't look too filled in, you know what I mean, from a distance. So that's the only part of the wheels that I don't like. Obviously, you got to have big brakes um, to stop this car, you know what I mean? You got a lot of power to be exact, 420, 400. It's in between 429 and four, uh, in between 429 and 500 horsepower. Um, it got power. It definitely has power. Continental tires, best tires that you can, some of the best tires that you can put on a vehicle is Continental tires. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Continental tires myself. A little more about the outsides, the headlights. The headlights to me look so, don't try to get over them. The headlights to me are dope. It's kind of like a porcelain design. If you notice the Panameras, uh, 911, the newer, the newer model Porsches, they all have this design where it's pretty much just like the four beam headlight, you know what I mean? And it, it it looks it looks dope. It's different from anything that any other company or uh, car brands are using. It's it's different. So I like the design. Me personally, trunk in the front. Obviously, if y'all didn't know, this is an EV, which means this is an electric vehicle. So therefore, it has no engine. It has batteries. The trunk is in the front. Well, we're gonna call it a frunk. That's what Tesla calls it. Maybe that's the right pronunciation of it or the right term word or maybe that's the right word for it i don't know if this is what tesla calls it maybe that's the correct name for it a frunk because it is a trunk in the front um also a trunk in the back that one has a little more room you know what i mean you also have your charging cables back there as well to charge up when it's time to stop at a charging station which leads me to my next point that's one bad thing about this vehicle this vehicle do not have a wide um it don't have a long uh uh mile range on the battery the mile range is only are you gonna let me over i got lane assist on y'all they didn't want to let me over the mile range is only um 299 mile range now for the price of this vehicle i would at least want 400 like i mean it's not a lot of places yet that have charging stations if you want to drive out of town, you can't really drive out of town. And you have no idea where a charging station is. That'd be a bad situation. You know what I mean? So I feel like they they could have. Now, you can get a bigger battery. But still with that, the bigger battery comes with more horsepower as well. But still with that, it's still not enough, if you ask me. I, it's, I mean, an electric vehicle is good for driving around the city. And if you want to commute back and forth to work and whatever you have to do around the city, then cool. But every, but every, all the other stuff, driving out of town, family trips. If you got an electric SUV, you trying to make a family trip. If that battery don't have a a, 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 a 
a good mile range, man, I, I don't suggest it. You know what I mean? A lot of these uh, electric vehicles just don't have a good mile range um, for me to even buy one. But I do eventually want one. I actually like this one to be exact, you know what I mean? But um, also cameras all around the vehicle, as y'all know, vehicles like this, pretty much all newer model vehicles have camera all around the vehicles. What I like about these electric cars is, I mean, you don't hear nothing. Everything is just completely quiet. You don't hear no engine, you don't hear nothing. But I, right now, I do have the engine sound on. So you can you can kind of hear that. Let me let me let me go. Let me turn in the turn on the engine sound. Uh where are we at? Electric sound is off. It was actually off. Let me turn it on. There it is. That don't sound too bad. That don't sound too bad. Oh no, that no, that don't sound too bad. I actually like that. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but I actually like that. Um, I'm gonna let's put it put it in sport. The sound even changed in sport. That's it's pretty pretty neat. I like that. I mean, I like that. Um, all of the pretty much got all the um pretty much got so many different settings you can do in this vehicle. You know what I mean? It's it's just it's just a lot you can do in this vehicle. You can do so much stuff, but you can also control this, all of this, whatever goes on up here, you can control that from right here. You know what I mean? Just do that, as y'all can see. I, I'm gonna bag up so y'all can see all of that. You can control all of it from right here. You can go to the settings, just click on it. Um, you can go to display. Display is pretty much all the consoles, like this center, this center, um, the center console panel, which is this part right here. This is the center display instrument cluster, um, which of course is that up there. But you can control. Obviously, I mean, you you guys know. It's so much stuff when it comes to these these vehicles. Let's go to settings, and we're gonna go to a vehicle. Where's vehicle settings at? Right here. We're gonna go to vehicle settings. Cleaning. This right here allows the spoiler to go up. This is the only way the spoiler goes up on her it has a wing but it's only for cleaning purposes as y'all can see manual cleaning position spoiler i'm gonna hit that extend it and y'all can see it's going up right there i'm gonna actually step out so y'all can see it so that's pretty much all you get it's not it's not for riding around purposes the spoiler does function but you can't like most cars how you can control the spoiler up and down you can't do it on her it's just for cleaning purposes retract it again Retract spoiler. Come on, retract the spoiler. Oh, you got press and hold. Reading is fundamental, guys. Um, <laughs> press and hold to retract spoiler. Please make sure that the spoiler area remains clear. I'm holding it. How long do I need to hold it? I don't know how long I need to hold it. There we go. I just heard it. Okay, I just heard it close. Spoiler has been rejected. That took a long time, y'all. Locking systems. You can um set the doors to pretty much unlock when you touch it. Um, stuff like that. All this in here. Chassis height. Um, you can actually right now it's lifted. I'm gonna put it on lower. And we are going down, y'all. Y'all can't see that, but we're going down. I'm gonna go to low. Put it on low. We just went down a little more. Yes, sir. Uh, and if I put it on lift, you can feel it go up. So, like, you can feel it go up more than you can feel it go down. I don't want to say that. Discard. But we're going to keep it on low. So, I'm going to show y'all the difference. If y'all can tell the difference between low and y'all can tell the difference between high. So, that's low, you guys. I don't know if y'all can... Y'all see how low that is? Now we're going to get back in and we're going to let it back up. Okay, now go to lift. And we raising up. Yes, sir. The back going up now. We done. Yeah, that's a big difference. Big difference. I like it lowered myself. What about y'all? Get in the comments. What y'all think? Pay attention, y'all. This, this video has Apple CarPlay. We're going to hit Apple CarPlay. And y'all see that right there? Let's scroll over to... Wait a minute, let's make sure, let's go to settings. Then we're gonna go to network. Oh, 
iPhone 3. That's the name of my iPhone, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so I'm connected to my iPhone. We're going to go to YouTube. Now, y'all wonder, how, how are you watching YouTube in the vehicle, on the radio? If you guys want to be able to do this, man, this has nothing. Let's go to Hemi Life. Let's go to Hemi Life 44. Click on that. Let's go to him. And y'all can see it moves, it moves pretty fast for um for to be in a car. We're gonna click on this car review right here. Boom. Y'all see that? And you watching? Watching Hemi Life in the car. Um, this does work. Let me turn that down. 44 gang, Let's... what's going on? It's your boy, Hemi Life 44. Back with another banging video. Um, I just want to show y'all it do work while the vehicle is in motion. I'm in drive. As y'all can see, I am going right now. And it's still working. Y'all see that? Drive, reverse, park, whenever. Um, like I stated, y'all see the camera. Like I stated, this has nothing to do with the Porsche. This particular device right here is called the app box, you guys. All I did, all you do, take the app box. As you can see, it says the app box. Plug it in right there, and that's it. Connect it to a Wi-Fi, whether it be Wi-Fi in your car or whether it be Wi-Fi on your phone, which y'all see I had mine connected to my phone, and I'm watching YouTube. Um, just to show y'all, you can actually go, you can actually get out of this. Well, it, it works kind of like an iPhone. You can hit that right there, go back to the home screen, and that's going to still play just like it would on your phone. Also, I'm not logged. This is my advertising one. So I'm not logged into this. You know what I mean? So it's probably not going to show the Netflix um, because I'm not logged into it. I don't know. But all it has to do is just tell me to log in and y'all should know that that's legit and it works but netflix uh amazon prime um whatever you can get on your phone man you can get right here in your car and you can now watch uh tv see it says new version application found do you want to okay oh i should have put cancel hold on i should have hit cancel so it's gonna direct me to sign in now see as y'all can see i'm not gonna click on nothing because i'm not signed in and i don't feel like signing in but Netflix do work. I'm not finna sign in. You know what I mean? I'm not finna do all that. But, man, if y'all want this device, man, make sure y'all... The link is in my description. The App Box. Go to The App Box LLC. The App Box LLC dot com. And use promo code HemiLife44 for your discount, man. You will get a discount off of that. Make sure y'all tap in and get that, man. Um, this I don't go nowhere without using this. This has nothing to do with this vehicle. This is a 2021 Porsche Taycan. Um, it also works in my uh, 2018 Dodge Charger. It also works in my 2021 Suburban. It works in anything that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you guys. So make sure y'all get this device, man. It got a look. It got a look. Get up and go about it. I look it up and go. I, man, I overall, I, I like this vehicle, man. I actually like it. This now, it's not a lot of space in the back at all. Like, it is not a lot of space back there at all. You know what I mean? I know you like this. <laughs> Say, man, they be they, they look. He drinking it. He about to waste his water looking. But it's not a lot of space back there at all. So, I I can fit back there, but it's very uncomfortable. Now, from the outside looking in, this car looks very big. It actually weighs 4,700 pounds. But this car looked very big, and it's not that big on the inside. It's more, it's more like, compact on the inside. It's really not that big on the inside. Um, but it still looks amazing. That wouldn't stop me from buying it. And I got four kids. I'd still buy it. It wouldn't be my only vehicle, but I'd still buy the, buy the vehicle. Let's, let's hit it one time. It got a little, it got a little pull to it. It got a little pull. Now it ain't nothing crazy, but it would be like I, I want to say maybe if Hemi wife was in here, she'd be. Well, not even Hemi wife, cause she used to own a, a three ninety a, a SRT Challenger. So people that's not into a fast car, it, it may be a little crazy too. You may have a little little pull or whatnot, but to me, nah, it's 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 
it's nice. It's, it's cool. I like it. It ain't slow, but it's just not crazy fast. Let's do that one more time. Oh, Lord. You must have heard me talking. I apologize. <laughs> I, listen, I'm sorry. You hear me? I am sorry. <laughs> you didn't have to scare me like that. You did not have to do me like, oh, stop the. Oh, Lord. This thing got some. Nah, it, it definitely, it definitely has some power to it, a little bit. <laughs> it's not like, it's not like the, it, it's not like the Tesla Plaid or anything like that. But it has power to it. It does has power, man. I like how it handles. It actually feels steering wheel feel. I actually like the steering wheel. It's steering wheel feel good. I hate lane assist, man. Lane assist make me drive so like stop. If I want to get over, let me get over. I shouldn't have to turn my signal on just to get over. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to have my signal on, y'all. I know. I know what lane assist is and what it does, but if I don't want to turn my signal on, you shouldn't have to make me do all this to get over. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man. Dope vehicle, man. I like this vehicle. It's very comfortable, even though it's compact. It's 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 kind of very, it's still very comfortable in, in your seat. You know what I mean? This truck is in my way. It's very comfortable in your seat. You know what I mean? Um, dope vehicle. Not, 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 it's probably one of the, you know, I've, I've drove a, a few legend vehicles. This is probably the best one I've drove yet. Um, I actually like this one. It actually looks the best to me. I don't see a legend. It's not a legend vehicle that I've seen right now that look better than this one. Yeah, buddy. I like that. I like that. Um, but yeah, so it's a dope vehicle. But unfortunately, you guys, um, I had to, I, I went through so much of this car at one point. It was, and I went and got the mechanic, right? The mechanic came back out and pulled the door handle and fixed the whole problem. It took me 30 minutes, maybe 45, and I couldn't close the back door. He came in, long story, I, I felt embarrassed. Anyway, <laughs> that took a lot of my time. So the guy I had, I actually got to get back to the dealership. Um, so I got to cut this video short. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Porsche Taycan, man. And uh, yeah, let me know y'all thoughts and what y'all think about it. But y'all know I ain't all my videos, man. In the meantime, the between time. Till the next video, I'll let your boy, I'm out. Yes.